I'm Sophia Hunziger. I'm Mercedes Dodd. And this is NAC News. Whatever happened to predictability? The milkman, the paper boy, the evening TV. You miss your old familiar friends, but waiting just around the bed. During the 2019 and 2020 school year, North Andrew hired a new FCAS teacher, Kelsey Neal. She has brought a new approach to some of her classes, especially her child development class. She made the kids take care of a baby for a week. Instead of going, getting baby dolls, she made the kids make their own dolls using household items and bags of sugar. An inexpensive idea that makes kids live in the rea reality of what it is like to try to take care of a child. Mrs. Neal says it was a self-inflicted idea. Mrs. Neal stated that she gave the kids three choices, a plant baby, an egg baby, or a sugar baby. She says many of the kids did great with the project, but others might have had abuse allegations that their teachers of North Andrew reported. Mrs. Neal is looking to get a grant to get, the, to get baby dolls that imitate exactly what a baby would be like to raise. These babies would be taken home and would be would imitate a normal baby baby by crying when it needs something and getting fussy at night. A North Andrew High School student, Jalen Fisher, said he got he did great with his project. He said her, their favorite hobby to do together was play patty cake. This project was designed to try to let kids see the effects another human in their life could have on them. I'll take my baby back. Well, back to NAC News. The election of 2020 is coming up next November. Caden and Chittum did a story over it. I'm Caleb Chittum. And I'm Caden Gerter. And we are from NAC News. On the 2020 election, there are 19 Democratic candidates as of October 3rd, 2019. Some of those candidates include Michael Bennett, U.S. Senator from Colorado, former Vice President Joe Biden. He was under the Obama administration. New Jersey Senator Cory Booker, Elizabeth Warren, a 70-year-old woman who was born in Oklahoma who has a law degree. She is an expert in the bankruptcy law. Bullock is a candidate for the presidency and also Bernie Sanders. Also up for a re-election possibly for the Republican Party, Donald Trump. The 2020 election is the first election where some of the North Andrew students from the class of 2020 will be able to attend and vote for the very first time. This is a very big decision for the, a young adult to make. The Republican candidate who is being highlighted the most is our current president, Donald Trump. He is returning with his slogan, Keep America Great, again, and is pushing on the border security. Donald Trump, since he has been in office, he has brought us brought us closer ties to North Korea when we are on the brink of war and has started securing America's borders. Donald Trump is a great candidate for re-election because he is not a politician. He is a businessman. I'm Caleb Chittum from NAC News. I'm joined here with Hunter Grimes, North Andrew senior student. I have a few questions on the upcoming 2020 election and your viewpoints from a Republican standpoint. So, in this, who do you think you're going to vote for? I'd like to think that this year I'd be voting for Donald Trump as my president. 
Do you have any uh, specific reasons why? Well, unemployment at an all-time low, and I just really like to think that he's been doing the best to make our country great again. Thank you, Hunter. You guys have a great day. Good afternoon, I'm Caden Carter with NAC News, here with student Trevor Madison. So Trevor, I have a question. What would you like to see from the candidate from one of the candidates, whichever side you may choose, what would you like to see them perform or do if you, they prom if you promise to elect them? Mm -hmm. Well, so so um, I would say I've, I fall more Republican and by far a conservative Christian by nature. So hopefully someone that uh, holds to those beliefs but is also um, enough kind of closer to the middle that the Democrats would uh, be willing to vote for them so that they would have a good chance to uh, make the presidency. What do you think of some of the Democratic candidates that have been announced, like Bernie Sanders, mm -hmm. Senator Harris? What is your viewpoint? Do you think that they'd be good Democratic candidates? Do you agree with Donald Trump's re-election? Mm -hmm. what, what's your opinion on that? Yeah, yeah. So, so to be perfectly honest with you, I don't know very much at all. I haven't really done my homework on the uh, Democratic candidates, but um, yeah, um, I'm, I'm kind of fundamentally opposed to them just knowing Bernie Sanders more than anyone, kind of how he has, how everything's free, which really doesn't seem to make sense economically and um, how, I w how I look at the world and how things should be. Um, if you just want to give everything for free, then there's no incentive to do things the right way and work hard, right? Is, is, is kind of the idea on that. Um, so I suppose that's kind of where I stand on the Democratic candidates. Okay, thank you very much for your time. All right, thanks, Carter. I'm Caleb Chittam, here with Maggie Grisho, senior student at North Andrew. Today we are talking about the 2020 election and uh, from a Democratic viewpoint of how and what she thinks about the next and upcoming election. Um, I think that the next election is going to be a pretty tight race, um, assuming that Donald Trump gets the Republican nomination again. And depending on who gets the Democratic nomination, a lot of people have different viewpoints on the Democratic candidates. Um, a lot of people don't like all of them. They like specifics. And whoever gets it, it's going to be an interesting race to see who gets president. Hey, Sadie's, are you going to play softball in college? It's a plan. You should head to California. Why, Kelly? Well, now they're paying their athletes to play for them. Sounds like a deal. What's up, guys? It's Eli here with NAC News. And this week, we have a hot topic about California governor. He has just recently signed a bill that is allowing college athletes to get paid for their participation in sports. The California governor, Gavin Newsom, has recently signed a bill that will allow college students to earn money for their participation in sports. Though this bill does not have the schools directly paying their students, it is allowing the students to receive endorsements and prohibits the governing body of college sports, the National College Athletic Association, NCAA, and the schools from banning those compensated athletes. After the bill has been signed to Governor Newsom, he then tweeted, Colleges reap billions from student athletes, but block them from earning a single dollar. That's a bankrupt model. The NCAA acknowledged in a statement on Monday that current regulations need to be changed, but say California's new law won't help. It's going to change college sports for the better by having now the interest, finally, of the athletes getting paid. Newsom said, now we are rebalancing the power arrangements. After Newsom had signed this new bill, it became a sign for free labor from college athletes is wrong and needs a change. The most outrageous part of the previous rules for college athletes was the part about how the athletes, when they get hurt, they are not paid for by the college, who is making money off of their games. This law will take a step towards equal benefits for the athletes and the colleges. This will also allow the colleges to earn less money off of the students who are doing all the games and all the hard work. This is Eli with NAC News. Now to Mr. Bryson. Hey guys, it's Eli here with NAC News. And this week we're going to be talking about how the California governor has just recently passed a bill allowing college athletes to receive endorsement deals. We have Mr. Bryson here and we're going to be asking him a few questions. 
Mr. Bryson, how do you feel about college athletes receiving endorsement deals? Uh, I think it's good. I think anytime uh, anyone can get some money, I always encourage it. And how do you think other states should follow? Uh, I hope this brings about change within the NCAA and they kind of look at their sanctions uh, and some of their rules and, and hopefully the whole United States follows. And do you think that this law should continue on with high schools? Uh, Yes and no. I wouldn't be against it, but realistically we're talking about four or five people in the whole nation um, who are probably good enough at the high school level to get an endorsement deal, so uh, it's such a small number. I would probably stay away from high schools if I could. All right, that's all the questions we have. Thank you, Mr. Bryson, for Thank being you. in our interview. I'm Sophia Hunziger. I'm Mercedes Dutt. Thank you for watching NAC News. Uh